Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on my Paper Pumpkin Alternatives for March's 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit called Memorable Meadows. This is Paper Pumpkin Alternative video number 15. Oh and that is such a mouthful. So this is the instruction sheet. It shows you how to do three of this one, three of this one, and three of that project. As always, there's a QR, QR code on the back for other projects, a visual of everything in the kit, and the coordinating colors. So videos one through five, I show you exactly what's in the kit. After that, I don't, and I don't do any of the projects as they were designed. I like to create my own things. So, and this is another one of those, my things. So, Paper Pumpkin Alternative number 15. I have a five and a half by eight and a half regular half sheet of cardstock folded, scored, I'm sorry, at four and a quarter, and that's in white. I am using a white envelope for this card. Now, where, let's do our layers. So, layer number one is in gorgeous grape, four by five and a quarter. Why does that not look? That's the envelope. I'm like, why is that so big on there? I'm like, <laughs> Duh, it's the envelope. So there's that. Then layer number two is white, three and three quarters by five. Ta da! Now we are going to be using three of these rectangle vellum pieces. We're going to be using two mediums right there, and then two small and one medium of these rectangles. We're gonna be using those. We're gonna be bringing in the Petal Park Bundle. Now I have mentioned this and I wanna demonstrate that you can do this. This has this great three flowers that punch out all together. And if you don't have anything like these, you can use this stamp set. So I'm demonstrating that you can use this. I'm gonna set that aside. I have some done, you're gonna see. We brought in the sprig punch. I did one sprig punch of um, granny apple green, and I used the bow punch several times. I did several in white, I did several in old olive, and I did this in old olive in case I needed more. Let me put those away. And then I have to move stuff to get to stuff. I've got a mess here. Then I used two of these in Garden Green. These were the add-on, the Love of Spring Dyes. All of that. Because two video goes, I made a mistake. So I'm using up the mistakes that I made. So I have a piece of one of the cardstocks. And this measures... What does it measure? It measures two and a quarter by four. And we're going to cut three, three, three quarters by two and seven eighths, I believe, of this. The two and seven eighths, I'm not exactly sure yet, but we're going to have to have a look at it. So let's get um, this done because that is going on these. Yes, this one's going to be bigger in the middle, but that's okay. So... How I do this, guys, is I take the piece that I'm cutting the piece to go inside of it. Now, this says it is at 3 and 2 sixteenths, and I need this to be, ooh, I need to figure out which way. That's quite a bit to cut off of there. All right, so I'm going to take some off of the bottom. About right there. Then I'm going to turn it to take some off of the top. This is where my measurement for this is. You see that? So I need this a little shorter. We're going to start with that and then I'm going to... This is one. One, two, I might go right there. We're just gonna do it. There we go. And now I need three. What is this? This is a one inch piece. I can do half an inch piece. And I think I will be good. Let's see. Half an inch will look good, not great. 
but it will look good. There's one. Uh, so there's that one. That's what we're doing there. Now I want to take the same thing off of the other side. So there's one. Now this is the one that needs to be bigger. That's why they couldn't be. So I'm going to have to change that. This needs to be at one inch. Let's see, that's going to cut it. Yes. Okay. So we have it. So I do need to change my measurements on my notebook. Please bear with me. So I need to, <laughs> not that, cut to DSP. Mine is a card base from Kit Scrap. And I need to cut two at one half by, let me get the two and seven eighths, two and seven eighths, and then cut one DSP. This is the same to one by two and seven eighths. Just so when I go to put it in, the description of the video. I can move that one aside since we already got it. So because we're gluing on vellum, not gluing, we're going to adhere to vellum, we're just going to use tear tape. I'm just going to pull some off. I don't need to do the whole thing. We can be a little thrifty. So some there... All right, there's that one. Not done, we still have this one to do. Maybe three pieces, maybe four. All right, rub down, begin, right? Yeah, I'm a little quiet, I'm telling you. I feel really run down. This is my second video for the day, and it's probably going to be my last just because I feel um, like I didn't get proper sleep the last couple of nights. And I don't want to, if I go and take a nap, then I know I will have trouble sleeping. I just do. Um, so that's not an option. I mean, if you know me, if, if I'm in bed, it's because I'm, I'm sicker than sick. So... On those one inch pieces, the half an inch pieces is going in the center. So the half an inch piece is going onto the one inch piece. Oops. And like I said, since I have 99% of this card, the stamping done. I just need to demonstrate how I did it. So there's another one. You could trim these um, purple one inch pieces down if you wanted, but it didn't bother me it, and it still doesn't. I still accept that that looks like it's cricket, <laughs> um, but it's going to stay that way. It, it could be just the angle of it. There's one, two. Oh, that's nice that it's sticking to me like that. I'm happy with that instead of my table. 
and then the one inch piece goes to the one and a quarter inch strip, which is going to be bigger in the center, but that is what we want. And I do want that at least somewhat in the center. So let's try that again. There we go. So we have our three pieces. Now the question is, um, do this is going like this in the center, right? We just split up that piece and I think this one goes here and that one goes there actually. Now my question is, is that the top? Goes like that. Um, do I do a little stamping on here and I thought I would do yellow. If I don't like it, we can always turn it over and do it on the white. So let's do a little bit of the speckly speckles. And I really would like my, you can use the one that came in the kit. But what I'm after is a smaller print. And that's my favorite little itty bitty backgrounds. But please, if you don't have this one, use the one that came in the kit. But we are stamping off. Yes. I want that lighter. And I think, yeah, I'll get like three of them. Stamp off. One, two, and three. 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 And a little bit more. Stamp off. One, two, three, and I don't know why I'm ending not with <laughs> three, but that's all right. We are probably going to keep this out. Let's just set it up there. Move that. Now, let me take a look-see at what we've done here. Just created my own little bit of color on there is all I did with the yellow and you know what I'm going to tell you it could use some more color I'm thinking a little bit of green sporadically in there um, or or we could do a little bit of all the colors let's do <laughs> so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do old olive. I am just gonna go for it, but we're gonna stamp off. Let's see, stamp off. Yes, that real lightness. So stamp off. Then I'm gonna start here. Oh yes. I'm gonna go here. I want some like here. Kind of add an diagonal across the bit. That almost reminds me of Mellow Moss. Let's get it to where it'll go off. Then I'm going to come here. Move that aside so I can still come off. I think I'm going to add some more color, so give it a second. We're not done yet. I like that little bit of green in there. But I'm still thinking we need... Hmm. What do I have? No, 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 no. I want just a little bit more color. So is it toothbrush time? It might be. I think it is. It's time for the toothbrush. Oh, yes. So it's going to be gorgeous grape. Where's my plastic bit? So I'm going to go like this. Squeeze it real tight. If you can't do that, get a stamp block, ink it up. All right, we need the plastic bit that I love to use when doing this. 
Can I find it? That would be a negative Ghost Rider. Cannot find the plastic bit that I love to use. And why is that? Because I moved it, apparently. I moved it somewhere so well that I don't know where it is anymore. All right, so what can I use? What, 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 what? I don't like when I do this. <laughs> Let's use the inside of a paper pumpkin box as a spritz box. Ha. We will get it done. There's some tissue. All I'm trying to do is contain some of um, the mess I'm going to make. So I'm going to stick this in here. Where is the old toothbrush? The older, the better it is. I'm going to take my little spray bottle. I'm going to spray my toothbrush. Wipe off my hand. I don't want it too wet doesn't need a whole lot then I'm gonna spray whatever I inked look at that that's what I'm after rub the toothbrush in it take your finger and brush along oh my gosh that's perfect that is gorgeous so now we need the envelope please and I think we'll go ahead and do the card base and a little bit on the inside and this dries like almost immediately unless you have it soaking wet which is not a good thing there's that and we want our envelope I'm gonna pick up a little bit more over here Lovely. Lovely is a tree, right? Toothbrush needs cleaning. My hand gets some hand sanitizer on it to get the ink. What you can of it. And we're done. And it's ready to go. Ta-da! That works. So if you don't have the plastic thingy, which half the time I can't find it anyways, I gotta clean that out. So we can now glue these down. We made a lovely splattery splotted background. I am not afraid to get inky guys. Not not afraid. It's only ink. It's not tar. <laughs> It's a lovely thing to play with. The ink is. Yes, it is. It's gorgeous. Just like the gorgeous grape. Lovely purple. It does make me happy. So we're going to glue this down. And then we're going to use tear tape again to glue our vellum pieces down. envelope there. Where's my pieces? One, two, and three. More tear tape, which is underneath the Daffodil Delight. Just three this time around on each one. need to do the rub down because I don't have any nails to do it for me and I've been peeling off <laughs> I've been so bad peeling off all that gel polish I will have already had my 
colonoscopy by the time you guys see this. But I'm they're putting me under fully, so they need to see at least one or two nails on each hand. So I don't want to grind my nail beds anymore. So I've been peeling off the beautiful gel drop my daughter did for me and then um, causing hangnails from doing it. It's like, my husband's like, why? And I'm like, Cause I can't. Once I started, I just keep doing it while we're watching TV. It's like, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Alrighty, so we need to do, yes, this one right about there. This one on this side, about the same. This one in the center, I could have moved those closer. I wonder if I could get them closer or if they're really stuck. I don't have too much tear tape on them and I didn't like really push them. Nope. They're down. They're down. They're where they are going to stay right where they're at. So next we get to see all the gorgeous stuff that I made. Ha <laughs> ha. So here's my petal park. I wanted five flowers and I did this. I wanted to show you this. So with the bow punch, how I got, I should have two of these. Where's the other one? There's one. And here's a full one. So what I did is I punched it in white. I took the light daffodil delight and I colored the flower bit, the bud, then I took, these are blends. You could do this with markers. Oh, this is light mossy meadow. No wonder why it didn't look right. I wanted old olive. What did I do with the old olive? I was like, what's wrong with this color earlier? But we're going to keep with it now. It's a good thing mossy meadow's in there. So there we have it. That is done. And we are going to stamp. And we're going to use scrap paper because that's what I did. I just pulled in here. Let's, that might, I don't know how much of that we can use, but we'll see. Yes, I'm like something fell. Something did. All right, so we need gorgeous grape. I didn't do black. I wanted the gorgeous grape. This is the outline in the petal park. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Except. You guys should see the other one. I have one flower here, one flower there. There we go. Now, this one, I had to ink them up individually to get them what I wanted. So I'm going to start with the bubble bath, and I just did that one. I'm going to turn it this way, and I'm going to ink up that one. Then I used Highland Heather for the next one. And then I used, oh no, sorry, this was Fresh Freesia. Now it's Highland Heather. And it's okay if you don't get these lined up. They kind of look better when you don't, in my personal opinion. So this way is the way it's supposed to be, like ooh, right there. But I've already, well, I guess I could because it's the same color. I didn't ink it up anything different. There you go. Now you see I have a yellow center. Q-tip. That one's really dark. Let's do it. Other side. There we go. That is how I did my flowers. Yes, indeedy. It is. So let's go ahead and punch them out. I can always use them. 
Not sure about this card, but we'll use them in any ways. Maybe on the inside or something. So now we, I was going to do a sentiment strip. A short one, though, is what I really wanted. We'll have to wait and see. Now I need to arrange my flowers. So I know from what I did is I had these about right here. So let's go ahead and lay them down. Right along the edge there. Gonna kind of put this there to get an idea. And we're just going to start arranging our leaves and our flowers. Now this one, I thought we would put a little in the corner. So we're going to have to do a little surgery. Like that, it needs just a little bit. <laughs> Don't, my husband just gave me a start. My heart just went, <laughs> he, I, I'm sitting here doing this thing and he's against the window outside and he's putting his hands against the windows. Oh my gosh, <laughs> pain in the butt. Ah, uh, but he's mine, right? Mm. I didn't quite get that. I thought I would add a little bit more leafy goodness in here. Yes. Stay down. So whatever we did over there, we're going to have to do on this side, which means we're going to take this right there. All right, and this one I know is going to come up about there, but I need to wait. So we need to then, we're going to tuck these in. So now I'm going to start placing my flowers. There's one. Two. And three. Same on this side, just getting them in where I think I want them. Doesn't that look pretty? A nice little arrangement here. And then we have these little green bits, which are going to come in there. So this one is going to go up on dimensionals. But before that, I'm just going to use my hands and I'm going to turn. You can use your nail. Just turn your edges up. You can use a bone folder too. You can go like this, curl it like you do ribbon thumb on the edge of the bone folder and pull out. We want to do that to all of them. We don't want them totally flat. This one hardly gets anything, but we're still gonna do it. All right, so we have five flowers. I might, we might just use, we'll see. We will see what we come up with. We need dimensionals, long tray underneath that tray dimensionals and probably some minis so I like this really dark Highland Heather one that is going to get us started everything else we can tuck in and around it do we want to do two of those like so no, we want one. Maybe I do want two. 
No, we're going to do one. <laughs> do one. All right, there's one. This one now is going to get a mini. Oh, this is going to come in here first. And that is going to go underneath it. So probably a glue dot on this one. That one gets the glue dot. This one is going to lose a little bit. We're going to put glue right along the bottom edge. This is that little bit of granny apple green. I just want a little hint of it because it's all the colors that are in here. So there's that one. Let's repeat that to the side. And we need our little sprig of granny apple green again. We want to turn it this way. So that little bit of a curve. That's too much glue on there, but that's all right. All right. And then this one. Where's the curved? This one has got the curve. This one doesn't yet. Could add that one back here too and then add this one here I do like that this would have to be out more all right blue dots for the flower yes this does take time guys to lay all these colors on here and get them placed it's always a you know you're guessing always okay do I have it do I is it right where I want it I'm gonna glue this down at the same time I'm putting this down there now I have these bits to fill in but what I want to really don't like that one has a bit out of it. Oh, we have the yellow to tuck in there. That's what we're doing. The ones we colored. There. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't think I'm going to be using those, but we are going to add this. Up there. Look at how pretty that is, our nice little floral arrangement. Now, we could do, I would need a little bit more if I wanted to do something up in that corner. Something needs to be up in this corner, and I'm not sure it's going to be a sentiment. I'm looking for those wonderful little butterflies. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for, and they were, like in this tray, they still are. They're just under everything under the sun. Let's see. 
Oh, we're going to use the yellow one. I wish I had like a little hello. So do I add a sentiment? Yes, we're going to add a sentiment. So. Sorry, butterfly. We are going to add, you've been on my mind, if I can find it. And we're going to put it, of course, in gorgeous grape. Then we're going to cut it down. I'm not even going to bring the stamp and pierce mat. We want it as close to the chevron as possible. This would be a great get well card, which I might have to find a get well. I do know where one is at. But did I put it away? It's a question. Ay, ay, yikes. Okay. And it's going the wrong direction. Oh my goodness. It is going there. I wanted it going this way. I don't have another one. So we're just going to have to restamp it. There's nothing about that. I want the chevron going the other direction. All right. Once again. And it's not all the way inked up. Oh, my little dog is angry. She's probably stuck on much better. Well, I guess we could leave it that long because of the butterfly it's gonna take up room. So we will. And what are we gonna do on it? How am I gonna glue it down? I'm not gonna do dimensionals. I'm gonna stick glue here and here and then in this area and in that area. And hopefully it's gonna be right there. And then we're gonna pick up our butterfly again. And our butterfly is gonna be going this direction. Ha. There we go. And we need some little bits of bling. This time we're going to use these purple ones that the beautiful Miss Phyllis gave us. So I want to do one, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Yes. I mean, I'm already going to add four postage for this one. So I do want one there. two and three and of course the wink of Stella to finish it all off I've got lots of layers in here this would be what I would call an avid extreme card because of all our stamping and everything that we did for this one. Yes, but it is came out gorgeous. This will be a get well card. So let's see, do I know where my get well? Nope, I ain't got a clue where it is. <laughs> right now, do I know? No. Okay, I'll just have to write get well. I know who it's going to go to. Um, but I just have to wait. So let's do, am I going to do anything else on the inside? I could put, let's just put these little flowers in there. We're going to I can even do little leaves. I have some scratch not scratch. Um, 
Ooh, not that. Let's see. I just need like a few little leaves. Tearing it is not always the best bet when using a punch. Of course, that little leaf has to be in the most difficult position. That one went on the floor. Not helpful. Not helpful little leaf. Are you, are you kidding me? That one sailed right to the floor too. I found one too. We got them. We got them. <laughs> they just did not. So we're going to go like so. Right there. This one needs a hint of glue there and then we're going to put them together to do a double petal add some glue again and we're going to glue it right there and then we're going to glue this down make sure we get glue on the petals And the little dog is demanding to be let in, but she can wait because we are too close to being done. Yes. We're going to add this underneath it real quick. Here. I'm not sure if I can add this one somewhere, but we'll put you up there. Yes, we will. All right, let's add a little glue behind those so they're not flying up. All right, and we have an envelope to do. Oh, that is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. And our envelope shall have, what do we do? Flowers. Mm. I wish I had one right now that said thinking of you. Let me see. Yes, I do. Thanks to Phyllis. <laughs> On the horizon. Thinking of you. It's the only block I think I have left. And of course... purple. There we go. I'm happy with this result. So I hope you guys like my alternative. Little bit of work here for this, but it is, you know, it is for somebody special. I do have somebody in mind for this card. I just really need to find the get well um, <laughs> stamp. But I don't mind writing it either. So thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, I'm going to ask that if you are not subscribed, if you would consider. And um, would you consider also giving me a thumbs up, like, or share this video with somebody you know who may like doing it? If not, that's okay, too. I want to invite you to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye for now.